engine though is something else. No, 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 I need to, I need you lot to, 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 to recognize how beautiful this thing is. She's lovely. Trust me, finished in space gray, full service history. It's a 2011 LCI E92 M3. Obviously four litre V8, naturally aspirated engine, producing 414 brake horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque. Top speed, forget about it, it flies off towards the end of the clock. It's got 200 mile an hour on the clock. And yeah, you can see we've got the carbon spoiler. We have the 19 inch competition style alloys, forgot the, the model or make of these wheels, but it is a non-competition M3, but you can see it's clearly competition spec. Absolute beaut. I didn't find this car. Usually man like Ricky is the one with the swag. You know what I'm saying now if you're watching? You done all right, bro, I'm not gonna lie. She's nice. We've got the black kidney grills, we've got the carbon corner splitters. There is some sort of PPF and I think down to the headlights. It's also had a ceramic coat and uh, the calipers are finished in black. We've got the gloss black mirrors, which are electric and folding via a button. We've got the carbon roof, which lowers the center of gravity. I think these cars do wear around the 1650 to 1700 mark. We've got the black leather door cards. See the button here to fold the mirrors in. Black leather steering wheel, black leather heated, electronic, memory seats as you can see down there these bolsters do inflate as well if you press that one there i forgot to mention that one there six speed manual sorry for any kids that do plan to enter for this car but unfortunately she is a manual uh, what i say unfortunately for me it's fortunately but i know some of you youngsters don't know how to operate a manual gearbox so yeah i mean look this car probably was designed with the dual clutch transmission but you can't beat a manual you've got a rev match you've got a heel and tell yourself this is a car that you learn how to drive yeah proper man proper man's car yeah man car man's car so yeah man there are some other things with this car like it's got bc racing coilovers they're fully adjustable which is why she sits a little more special i think i did mention we've got toyo proxy tires there are spaces on these wheels as well all round another thing to note is this car has had brand new rod bearings it's had brand new throttle actuators it's had the engine mounts replaced loads of receipts loads of paperwork as i say full service history and uh, as you see man she's absolutely stunning man this is you know look i know that it's an e92 m3 but it's a special e92 m3 and you can see it right there anybody that's been looking on the internet for one of these this is this is the one man it's the one bro just trust me trust me trust me dog trust me right e92 m3 business let's get traction off not that we're gonna spin it up press the power button give it the second gear <coughs> Oh, hey, she is moving. It's a driver's car, people. Drivers only. Beautiful balance. She's a bit heavy, you know, as I say, leaning towards the 1700 kilos. That's not a very light car. The difference is with modern cars, yeah, they're getting heavy. Like the G80 M3 is probably similar weight, but they don't feel as heavy from the wheel. This car, you do really feel that sluggish kind of, it doesn't react as quick but with the bc racing coilovers look at the the front end look, i'm gonna keep going around this roundabout the front end is ridiculous like the front end bike look it's absolutely nothing to this car oh one of the best sound engines on planet earth mate could you just imagine a manual v10 m5 tr hamza if you're watching manual swap your m5 brother all right let's come to a halt give you lots some have a listen to that kids you're not going to be getting into that for much longer oh mate only modification this car needs is like like a decat downpipe or something just needs a bit more snap Yeah, boy. She loves to go sideways, man. These cars, they're unbelievable. Rear wheel drive, they've got LSD from factory. So controllable. So controllable, man. It is a big car. Like, I feel like a, I feel like a little kid driving it almost. 
wheel feels a bit big but yeah for the for the normal driver to get into something like this you know a bit of patience to sort of adapt and, and and get used to what these cars are like back in the day they used to be like yeah man these cars are proper dangerous but they are nothing compared to like a like a m3 or an m4 you know like the f80 series these cars don't spin up man it's only in really wet conditions where you'd have to be really careful on top of it being a, a high performance car you can daily drive it that is the specialty as a selling point should i say with the m3 man i mean you've got nice comfortable leather seats we've got air conditioning and electric windows it's a really nice looking car also just to let you know um, these cars used to suffer with rod bearings failure these have been replaced and upgraded uh, not too long ago you're talking about 10,000 miles ago it's had the throttle actuators and the engine mounts have been done so the car is literally ready for a new owner she's ready look at that <laughs> You know, it's been a long time man since I've like um, had a you know a nice amount of power in a real drive car I mean look the M140 is a bit different it's like it's not that car in it it's not a driver's car M3s they really teach you how to drive man and you can have some real fun you can test your driving ability is what you can do oh. <laughs> my god Bro, that engine though is something else. That is the big selling point of this car is that V8, man. Like, I'm so concentrated right now. Down to second. Wow, the front end's lovely. Honestly, I keep saying it. Uh, this is probably, probably the nicest front end I've felt on the E92 M3. We've given away a good, a good three, four E92s, E90s. Definitely best front end. A lot of them have had lowering springs. The first time we've had like a full suspension setup. so stable under acceleration so confident now you know it's not moving all over the road we're not tram lining it's not following the cam bar it's just nice man a really nice car you know this is a car that you buy you take a bit of weight out remove the back seats nice suspension quarter weight it get a nice alignment done lightweight wheels big brake kit yeah that's it you don't want to touch too much maybe a half cage and you've got an absolute weapon something that will run rings around most of the cars that you're racing against man trust me just a quick reminder guys somebody will be winning this very car this sunday at 10 30 for 99p yeah no joke the previous winner of the rs3 so remember the 570 horsepower rs3 he won that for 10 quid so he bought 10 99p tickets and he's gone away with a 570 horsepower audi rs3 ticket link in the description i'll see you guys next time